Hello there, hopefully you're doing well. My name is Sam as always and thank you so much for coming to this video once again. Once more I'm talking about the Scratch DNA because I have these tips always updated once I discover something new. And in this one here I'm going to show you something that is just related to some of my previous videos on this same Scratch DNA. Now the difference here is going to be that I'm going to show you how you can use a single letter on your keyboard to select a cue point, scratch along that cue point and then let the song continue playing without losing sync. And then the other difference also is going to be that you don't have to hold on the scratch DNA just like any other ordinary scratch DNA style you need to. This one here you just have to tap on it, it will scratch on its own automatically and then the song will play after selecting the cue point. So I only have two mappings to offer and let me just take you there straight away. Alright so I have this one here, let me just zoom in a bit so you can see. This one here, the first one. You have to take note of this. There is going to be a, a recent cue point, like I already have the cue point set like I showed you in the beginning of the song. Alright, so this one here allows you to only tap on the scratch DNA button that you have for your keyboard. You just have to tap on it and release your finger. It's going to scratch and then go to the most recent cue point. Like you can see here, it's not being specified, so it'll just go to any cue point that has been played before. Right, if it's Q1, it's, go it's going to go back to Q1 after scratching and then play from there. And if it's Q2, just like that. And then, uh, for this one, uh, for this other one here, I already have this Q point specified. It's going to, to select this Q point, which is Q1, and then it's going to scratch after just tapping on it. Please make sure you don't have to hold on the keyboard, just like any other scratch DNA. The other scratch DNA styles you need to really press and hold until the end of the scratch and then the song will play, that's when you release your finger. But this one is automated so make sure you just tap on it, it's going to scratch and then it will smartly go to this specific cue point. Oh, what you have to take note of is that there is Q1, there is Q2, there is 3, 4, up to this. This is even 15, I mean 16, right? So. This one here selects a cue point along the song that you're playing. You don't have the cue points set. In, in, in other words, maybe you don't have those ones set. So it's going to just pick a cue point from wherever you tap it. It's going to scratch along that very point. And then it will come back and play from that very point. Right. If you have the song playing and you don't have Q1 set or Q2, let's say Q2, you don't have it set. Where you tap the key from, where you tap on the button from, it's where it's going to set your Q2 and it's where it's going to scratch from and then it, it's going to come back there and start playing from there. You're going to try this for yourself. For a more detailed tutorial, I'm going to really make a member-only tutorial on this. So make sure you maybe join the membership program. I have it running and for more details on how this one works, maybe if I have to explain all these mappings one by one in a simple, in a simple term, you have to make sure you subscribe to at least get all these right i have the membership program running you can get yourself a star and other packs to, che to check in for for as low as maybe 1.8 dollars something like that just check it out for yourself just click on the join button here you'll get more details so i have this and it was just a quick one now the other tip that i'm going to repeat i've already said it in most of my other videos about the scratch dna is that for you to get creative with scratching in the DNA styles, you, you sometimes have to just tap it anywhere along the beat, but you have to keep the beats in mind. For example, I told you I, ha I like scratching in, a, in four beats, so I just tap it anywhere, but then I have this button here, which allows me to escape the scratches and then let the song play on beat. Alright, so let's say maybe I was scratching along the second beat, maybe I tapped the scratch DNA along that second beat, I let it scratch for the next two beats and then I press escape to let the song play from the fourth beat. I hope this concept is clear. Please, if you like the video, give me a like for this one here and if it's going to be helpful for you, please make sure you subscribe. I have a lot of this content coming your way. And in case of any question that you want to ask me, please make sure you comment down below. I have replies given to you in time and Let's see you in the next one.